So hey guys, welcome to another episode of VTech Academy. You're about to get schooled. So uh, AD and I are here today with the K23 out of our RDX. We're curious about it, aren't we? Yeah. All right. What do you want to see? See if this head will fit on in K24 or K20. That would be cool. Yeah. That would be cool. I'm kind of curious about the intake manifold, about the exhaust manifold, yeah. all that sort of stuff. So it's kind of got some unique parts on it. Uh, one thing we did find out is this, um, the thermostat valve. Oops, I'm sorry, this uh, side. Thermostat yeah. valve. You know, you can put that on a K24 and it pokes out the right direction. So uh, that was kind of a cool little find there. Uh, this engine uh, was given to me in this condition from Honda. Uh, the only thing that's missing were the injectors and the map sensor. Two things I really could have yeah. used, but uh, they took the good stuff and gave me the rest of the, the engine. Uh, these engines don't really bolt on anything. This, this block housing is huge. There's no transmission that uh, is large enough for it. At some point, I might look into making an adapter plate for it because I'm sure we can use uh, some sort of flywheel for it, probably Alpha V6, I'm guessing. But uh, anyway, uh, right now, we're gonna pull it apart real quick and see what we can find. Alrighty, uh, let's get going. Let's start with the turbo, okay? You know what, though? What's that? I said turbo, but I think we better take the wiring harness off yeah, first. Yeah, awesome. let's do that. <laughs> Here, have a pick tool. And a 10. We need it for bolts. Check this out. It's got an interesting cooling passage into the thermostat and into the manifold itself, and then out again. Whoa. Is that kind of crazy? Why not just do a tube or something? Huh? Why not just do a tube straight back? Yeah, oh, I wonder if they're actually cooling something, or if they're heating the water. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's kind of crazy. Well, let's go ahead and take this off here. Okay, we got it stripped down uh, pretty good. We got a lot of the stuff that we don't really care about taken off of it. A lot of the, the cooling hoses for the turbo, uh, the upper radiator hose. There's a lot of water going on here. Uh, there's actually water going through the exhaust manifold. Let me show you what we're talking about. Here's the turbo. Uh, this is just actually a block off plate. This is how it shipped. Um, the, uh, not sure what this allows us to look at, but we might as well take it off and see what we can see down in there. Uh, this is uh, the outlet, the inlet. Here is the uh, uh, outlet. There's actually an intercooler that goes up on top, uh, then feeds into the throttle body to the top here. Uh, and here's the inlet. We had a tube, intake air tube for that, that was over there. Uh, the head is kind of different. It's got kind of a weird uh, radio, uh, radiator uh, inlet on it, so, uh, or cooling hose inlet, which is kind of wild. And then we have the intake manifold with, of course, throttle body up on top, a drive-by wire. Uh, and this kind of limits the in cars you can put it in. I was hoping at one point that we might be able to put this motor in a CRV or an element because there's room up on top for that particular motor. Uh, let's see, over here on the timing chain side, very similar to uh, the K24 and K20. Uh, so, in fact, including this kind of extraneous bolt hole, which comes on the second gen TSX, and I think it comes on 
the K28 II, it may come on that as well. So we'll have to see if this timing chain cover bolts on anything. Also, it, it uh, would be nice if it bolted on the second gen TSX because it has a crank angle sensor inlet down here. Uh, and obviously this block bracket looks uh, just like the one that comes on the first gen TSX uh, or the K20A2 Accord motor. Uh, but uh, I think next we'll uh, pop the turbo off and look at the manifold. Um, VTEC solenoid, was, did we take that off? It was already Oh, it was gone? Something else, it was gone. But that looks pretty much like the normal VTEC solenoid. We'll have to get one and see if it uh, see if it bolts on or if it requires something specific to the RDX. So let's uh, unbolt the turbo first, get it off, and then we can uh, take the manifold off after that. All right. Oh. It's got water cooling. That's crazy. So check this out. There's actually water cooling in there. I, we noticed these uh, water hoses going in it. There's actually water cooling for the manifold. So it has uh, some vents for that through the head. That probably has to do with the fact that it's so close to the engine. Uh, that uh, they need to do some uh, new need to do some cooling, like that. The newer motors with the integrated single manifold actually have water cooling jackets around that as well. Oh, I didn't yeah. Know that. So, kind of uh, kind of halfway in between. Pretty cool. Pretty crazy. Well, the bolt pattern is clearly different, so it's not going to be bolting on to any of the other manifolds. Uh, plus, the fact that there's water ports in it means it's probably pretty exclusive. That doesn't mean we couldn't make a manifold for a K20 for that turbo. It just means it's not gonna work on uh, on this. Uh, I don't think anybody does a tuning package for RDXs, do they? Yeah, so, well, still, we, we have a plan. We wanna see if something works. So uh, we're gonna flip it around and take the intake off. Okay, we're gonna have to figure this out. Uh, it looks very similar to uh, the uh, RSX or the EP3 or the CRV. Uh, we're gonna have to uh, check it out. Oh, I have a CRV manifold. Looks like it lines up. This is a, a Honda gasket, although this hole seems to be slightly off. There we go. Wow, all the holes line up, the ports line up. Looks like an RSX manifold bolt onto this head. That's good to know because if you don't have room, if this head bolts on a K24 and you don't have room to bring your intercooler over top, now you can put an RSX manifold on. That would be good. That's pretty cool. RSX or? EP3, well, any of them. You could trim any of the manifolds oh, okay. to work. But yeah, RSX is the would be the bolt-on option. Yes. Okie dokie. Uh, alternator, pull that off real quick. It looks basically like an Accord alternator. It's got this out the front. Uh, it's a uh, Denso. Uh, we can try it on a manifold, see if it fits. Uh, I'll do that at home though. I am curious about the water pump. Let's go ahead and pull that off. Okay. Check out this thermostat uh, housing. It's actually metal rather than cast plastic like all the, the normal Honda ones. That's kind of cool. Uh, knock sensor, your standard small plug Accord style one. TSX style one. I'll go get another one. <laughs> right. Want to try that one? Oh, let's 
actually compare the back side of them first. Looks, Looks awfully similar. close. See if it goes on. Sweet. Not that I need to be switching water pumps on these things, but the fact that they use the same architecture makes me hopeful that the head will work too. All right. I'll check the part numbers. This looks like an RSX oil pen. No, obviously not. Oh, it actually, no, look, the, we'll show you in a second here. The oil filter bolts to the back side of the oil pan. The oil pan may actually be a little bit deeper as I look at it. So interesting, it'll be interesting to see. We'll take that apart, probably not right at the moment, but we will take it apart. So there's something a little bit different about this. You notice this extension right here. Remember there's an intercooler sitting up here. So this oil dipstick has kind of an extension to bring it off to the side. Plus the oil cap's not or is it here normally? It's been moved over here. Yeah. So, whoops. Pretty clean engine. Very clean. Well, this thing is like, just got a few miles on it. Oh, yeah. It may not have any miles on it. Damn. It was sitting in a warehouse when I got it. These look a little bit different here. More lightweight. They're missing parts off of them. Yeah. RWC part number on the cam gear. I have no idea if it's 25 or 50, but yeah. that's the RWC is unique to that particular head. So, well, oh yeah, you can see writing in here. Yeah, I wonder how much it's been run. I guess if we pull the plug, we could tell. Hmm. Well, next thing is uh, pull the head off this thing. Yay. Yeah. Keep it at TDC, right? Oh. Yeah, I don't really care. Not like we're putting it back together. Right. These pulleys are actually a little bit larger. So if you're driving a supercharger, RDX pulley. number on this uh, tone ring as on an RSX or K24A model car. You know what the trick is? Have you ever tried to undo these in the whole and just sand twist? Uh, yeah. You know the trick to not getting it to twist? Get behind it? Actually stand on the end of the sand. Oh, actually. <laughs> if you stand up here, it doesn't twist. Oh, okay. says that you have three marks on each one that tells how many times they were turned mm -hmm. because you torque it to a certain torque and then you turn it three quarter turns after that so they when they do them they put a mark on each one as they do it it's they so they can tell turn, that they yep and then they do a quarter turn, they do a quarter turn. Yeah, exactly yeah. and they put a mark on it That's, it has a tensioner for the oil pump ah, yeah Oh, like a spring tensioner? Probably the same as that. Oh, wow. Well, 
Once they've been tightened once, the next time you use them, you only do two quarter turns after oh. The first one stretches them and then they should be as stretched as they're gonna get. Yeah. Until you replace them. Yeah. All right, moment of truth. See if it's gonna come off easily. Oh, snap. Those are cool looking. Yeah. Dish pistons. Very interesting. I want to set it on its end. Well, basically, all we need to be able to do is fit the head gasket on the other block, and that'll tell us. There's a... Huh? There's a K20 out there. Let's grab it. Okay, we have a K20 block. I'm gonna readjust the camera here real quickly. You wanna go ahead and pull the, va the head gas, get off that. What are you thinking? Yes, no, maybe? Seems like it might work. <laughs> All right, let's give it a try. That looks good. Here, check this out. All right, cool. moment of truth. Here we are. What we're waiting for this whole time. I think we've got a match. I guess I'm going to have to pull two heads and look at oil ports and stuff like yeah. that. Dude. Well, good news, I think. It looks like we're going to be able to use an RDX head with its tricky, cool turbo manifold uh, to make kind of a budgety... Uh, turbocharged motor. That's pretty cool. So, uh, AD, thank you very much for your time helping me with this. No uh, we're not done yet. We need to clean up a little bit. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but this is pretty good news. Yeah. Could you, how many of these does Robert have? Seven or eight. Seven or eight of these yeah. things? Wow. Think about it. If the RSX manifold bolts on that head, you're good to go. Yeah. I mean, it would just have to reroute yeah, the, the turbo manifold. It's got this, this right now, sticks too, right? up high. You want it to come off the side? Yeah. Well, let's see what kind of tuning can be done. That'd be cool. Very. Let's see, where's our oil port going up? It'd be next to the VTEC solenoid, which is? Oh, it's on the head. It's on this side. So, uh, but yeah, looking at it, I don't see any difference. So there's our, our uh, oil port. Same as the other one. Yeah. Got the diverter in the same place. Well, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull these pistons out because I wanna take a look at those, uh, see what the ring land looks like, see the strength of the rod actually. Uh, so we still got some more work to do on this engine, but I'm gonna call it quits for tonight. Uh, it's late and uh, I haven't had dinner or beer. Yeah. and You've got a, a wife and a child yeah. sitting at home, probably going. <laughs> okay, and food. Hell? And pizza. food? And pizza? And pizza? Oh, dude. Pizza waiting. <laughs> yeah, well, I almost am going to follow you home. Except, uh, <laughs> all right, cool. Yeah. Hey, guys, thanks for joining us. Uh, if you like what you see, please hit like uh, uh, and subscribe and uh, push the little bell there, and that'll get you notifications when we come back and do a little more work on this RDX motor. And if you have a chance, head on over to the VTEC Academy website at vtech.academy or vtechacademy.com and check out some of the merchandise we have. We have some pretty cool t-shirts and anything you buy actually helps us uh, support the channel. So, uh, I don't know, maybe this weekend. Yeah. All right, cool. Thanks, guys. That's awesome. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Because, yeah, never believe what you hear on the internet or I see on the internet. No. <laughs> yeah.